Now I thief. I stole five points from him. Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't even see it. Yeah. Old Nintendo Gamer. And son. Hello and welcome to Old Nintendo Gamer. And son, alright. Back with another Pokemon update. Massive update. Yes. And this little uh, gem eyed creature here. Yes. Sableye. Sableye. He's here. He's here. Yes, All right, but he first, is. nerfs and buffs. All right. Yeah, let's go. Nerfs so, and buffs. Mew special attack decrease. Mew synchronize. What is synchronize? Synchronize must be a move. Uh, effects no. on the user weekend. No. No, I think it's passive. All right, okay. I think it's passive. Uh, boosted auto. Boosted auto damage decreased again. Agility cooldown lengthened. Right, okay. so complete nerf. Complete it always nerf. does the nerfs first, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I'm like, I don't know why. Well, we'll see the buffs at the bottom. So, so Dodrio is going to be nerfed. Yeah, is Dodrio right? is nerfed. Right, okay, let's go. So, damage dealt decrease on the tri attack effects effects on user weakened. Oh, HP. HP, HP restoration decreased. Yeah. Tri attack plus HP restore decreased. But I think they buff the boosted auto health increase. But they haven't said. I think it did, but it's, it's like a secret buff, or I'm not, I'm not <laughs> hey. sure. Okay, but uh, those two are nerfs, basically. Yeah, those two are nerfs. Right, and Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime Confusion. Um, damage dealt decreased, effects on opposing Pokemon weakened. S and the damage dealt with the Confusion Plus has been decreased, decreased. as well. It, it decreased the Power Swap Confusion. Because a lot of like, Power Swap Confusion, Mr. Mime players can just CC you, and just like one is half health and you're dead. Yeah. So he's been nerfed, nerfed. slightly or I don't considerably. Know, I don't know exact values, but I'm sure it's a bit. Right, okay. Zorak. Zorak night slash cooldown lengthened. Right. Fixed bugs causing extra effects to occur. Yeah, uh -huh. So there's some <laughs> weird things okay. happening which they've stopped. Uh night slash, night slash plus, plus cooldown cool lengthened. lengthened. Exactly the same. Because night slash plus decreases move cooldown. Yeah. And they and now that. they've learned from this, so they nerfed that as well. Bug, Bug fixes, fixes that are being made for following of move learning. All right, the faint attack, faint attack, damage, damage dealt, dealt increased. increased. Oh, all oh, right. So, the bit, like we were saying before, the night slash was the preferred was the preferred move. one, not faint so attack. So they, they've nerfed that, and then they buffed up faint but attack. But faint slightly. attack proved really useful in worlds. Really, I think. In one like, and you the, find it easier to use anyway, don't you? Yeah, fate attack is for me, not night slash. Yeah, so maybe. Well, that's good for you anyway. If you're going to be Zora. Yeah. All right, Garvor. This is all buffs. This is all buffs. Yeah, we're starting on the buffs now. Uh, increased special attack for Garvor. Right. Garvor confusion increase damage increase. Psychic, Psychic damage, damage increased. increased. Unite, which is that black hole. Yeah. You get a faster. A fairy singularity. Right. Okay. Uh, Sylveon. Sylveon got a buff in what seemed like months. Sylveon has not anything for quite some time. Yeah, huh? after that big nerf. Completely forgotten about it. Yeah. Uh, Mystical Fire damage increase. Draining Kiss cooldown reduced. HP increase. Draining Kiss plus. HP increased. Right, okay. So you can suck more power from other Pokemon as you're attacking. Clefable! So <laughs> this Clefable. is increased, increased. I can see by us. So because Clefable Clef is like before all these buffs, but Clefable is probably like the squishiest, squishiest supporter. Really? Okay. Because of like all so the they basically increased the defense and special defense, which will allow just you to just be tank, less squishy. Tank more. Yeah. Magic Guard shield effect strengthened. Uh, Magic Guard is whenever you heal your allies, you get a shield. Yeah. That, now that is strengthened. So you get extra shield. Extra shield. Right, draining kiss. Draining kiss increased. Yeah. Follow me. Follow me, shield. Strengthened. strengthened. Yeah, the shield again. Yeah. Wonder wish. The hydro pump. Uh, Damage uh -huh. increase. Duration increased. Yeah, the hydro pump was like and trash. And you can block effects on the user. That's a strengthened, strengthened as, well. as well. Right, so yeah, that's a hell of a lot of... Um, Buffs, but buffs for not Clefable, sure but it, sure is, is it powerful enough? We don't know. You're not a Clefable user, are you? I'm not. I have a bother. <laughs> so, Blastoise. Damage dealt with the boosted auto increased. Hydro Pump. Duration of effect increased. The Shove, I think. Surf cooldown reduced. Yeah, like, Surf and Hydro... Like, this is probably, like, the fourth buff. For Blastoise. For the Surf and Hydro Pump combo. Like, this is probably the fourth buff. <laughs> like, I just... Like, I just... Like, this combo's been buffed so many times, and it's still not good. <laughs> Do you think this will make the difference? 
Maybe it will, but I'm go, I'm not, not seeing a lot of Surf Blastoise users recently, so I'm not sure. Don't hold your breath. Slowbro. Slowbro, extra tankiness. Yeah, defense increase, defense, special tele de yeah, telekinesis, cooldown cool reduce. reduce. Right, okay, so extra tank. All right, the good old age slash. Oh, we come into the end. I thought it was going to be longer. Boosted, boosted auto. Yeah. Falling has been adjusted. Damage. Coup de grace. Coup de grace. Uh, following has been adjusted damage. All right, okay. Adjust, have, but what does that mean? The following has been adjusted. Adjusted. Damage. We have no idea. But is that up or down, or is that? It might be something to do with bug fixes, but I, I we may, still don't know if it's up or down. Maybe it was giving too little or too less damage than it yeah. should have, and now it's going to give the correct. Yeah, we but don't I don't. I don't know. Probably Elchigo Eevee has the answers. Duraladon, Dragon Duraladon. Pulse. Yeah, the same. El Elchigo Eevee probably has yeah, the answers. Yeah, damage adjusted. Now, right. Thea Sky ruins Citrus Berries. Airs of Appearance changed. Oh, it's, really? Instead of, Where are they going now? They're, they're Where, still, they, they were before. The... They're still behind your goal, your yeah. first tier goal zone. But they're a bit too near each other, and that's a bit further spaced. I so think. are they further away from the goal zone and I think up and down on the path? You know what I mean? Both. Right. Okay. Both. okay. I think that is. I, okay. I haven't so they've been separated in... from each other. Well, we think. I haven't played lane for a while, so okay. I have no idea. Where it so is. they could have been separated and pushed further back away from the goal zone. Yeah. Right. Okay. To prevent stackers from getting in. From there. grabbing both Easier. of them really quickly. Yeah. Uh, Thea Sky ruins the bow toy. Yes. Areas of appearance change. Now I have no idea where they where they went. Right, okay. I have no idea. Now, Ray Closet, this is probably one of the worst parts of this update. Oh, uh, yeah. The shield, you get an effect when defeated, strengthen. strengthen. So, what, what what traditionally happens, your team gets the last hit on Ray Quasa. You get the, your entire team gets a shield, unless, unless for those who are dead. And your scoring speed, scoring increased. speed increased by fifty percent. Fifty percent, which is double. Right. So, you, so how so, long, how big was the shield? Do you know in in HP, HP um, terms? Um, three thousand plus thirty five percent health. Right. Okay. Now it's four thousand plus the forty five percent health. So I think. the shield is now much much bigger. The shield's bigger, not too much bigger. Right. Okay. But and, significantly, and yeah. this is the one I don't like. You get the scoring, the scoring speed, speed has went from fifty percent to seventy five percent, effectively quadrupling regular scoring speed. Yeah, which, oh, god, it's and, and, and put top, put and both of those in together, and that is it seems like that's a, unstoppable. That is, that is almost as after us. Yeah, that is almost after Surely it's unstoppable, unless true damage gets them. True damage is the only point. Is the which only is way. which is true damage is something that pierces pierce through, pierce shield. Through the shield. Things like uh, like Tyranitar Tyranitar and Charizard, absolute power, and or like Absol Faint. Absol the Faint does as well. Yeah. The first move you get from Absol is true damage. <laughs> yeah, but you're not going to be keeping that here. <laughs> but there was there was a glitch where someone tried to learn Night Slash and then they learned it. And where's the Night Slash? It's not there. It's just using Faint. This is kept on using Fate for the entire game. Hey, good for slamming uh, for one for one hit. One hit, and <laughs> uh, on top of that, a sixty damage percent increase instead of thirty percent. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. so uh, that is probably the worst part of of this entire update. So basically, stealing Rayquaza is a surefire. Well, not surefire, but a more surefire way but of winning. But that hasn't really affected me that much because normally when I lose Rayquaza, is normally my team just got wiped out anyway. Yeah, yeah. you're just gonna lose anyway. Like it doesn't really matter. That so much. why did they buff it? This is my point. If it they doesn't matter, according they to Phil Yumas, they probably just pro want to prevent from you instantly using a shield after getting Rayquaza. Right. Yeah, okay. Like Wait. I had that so many times. Like got the Rayquaza. Say bye. Yay. Right. Anyway. All right. Let's let's go, Phil events. Yumas. Oh, they we're did. gonna start with they events. Oh, they have done this again. Which they, is... they got Gemlock again. Yeah. But it's not two and one. You can get Sableye separately. Oh, can you? You can get Sableye. Can you... separately. Okay, we'll have a look later yeah. in the shop. So okay. we'll try okay. events first. Yeah. Nah, it's nothing new. Get out. Nothing new in the nothing events. New. Good. Get out. Nothing. So we're on to shops. Shop. So yeah, we got Sableye. Yep. So let's enter. Yep, it's Gemlock. <laughs> there we go. 575, which is the usual price. Usual price. But so, I Clef think... Clefab was only 12,000, really? I thought it was yeah, 14 it was. now. No, it's, it's 12, oh, okay. because she's simple. Because probably she's simple to use. Mm -hmm. But the same amount of Aos gems. Same amount of Aos gems. Like, you can see this compared to Scissor. Yeah. 
and what price in a week's time because it says they're five days and 14 hours as we're it's, recording it's gonna, it's it's gonna be 12 or, it's gonna be 12 and 14 thousand it's one or the other i reckon it's like I, I i'm i'm I'm, I'm gonna put my uh, judging my judging this guy is on it's this, gonna be 13 it's gonna be in the middle judging his difficulty is intermediate yeah he would probably most likely be 14k okay most likely imagine they shock you with a 13 and stick it oh, in the middle God. Mu right is... uh, anything else in the shop I think it's buy? a new face hat <laughs> hello game Hello? What's oh, no, happening? No, 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 oh, there it is. Mew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks no, like It's already there. It's already oh, there. Okay, that was ages ago, was it? Yeah. So there's nothing to buy, kind of fashion style. Well, except for this guy. Except for Sableye himself, yes. Oh, by the way, this guy, the Zergo training this guy, his Pokemon is Sableye. Oh, yeah. Has yeah. it always been Sableye? It's always been there, so... And I didn't even notice. Yeah, it's all, he, Sableye's always been there, so I was... Back in like back is like one year ago. Yeah, I, I suspect this Sableye might Sableye come. Sableye might come because they got the the the, the, he's, the, he's, the he's model here. for it already. So yeah. that makes me think: Does her ah. Pokemon or his Pokemon actually come to this game? Wait, it, her Pokemon is that the one that's flying around in the middle of the Sky Ruins? The birds? No, no, it's not those. It's not those. Okay, it's different. Well, whatever those and are. And the, his Pokemon game might come as well. It's it's just theory. It might be completely. Could be right though. Yeah, but I, can't, I could one, be right. It might happen to the other three. Right, right then, so... on to. There's no battle pass or anything uh, like that, then, is yeah, there? I, no. I, I think there's nothing. Uh, Except for like the save like sticker on stickers, your yeah. thing, but yeah. I think that's it. Right, okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm running. Right then, uh, so the shops are done. <laughs> That's it, this is a quick one. Yes. We're gonna go on to say, moves. Say why. Talking about moves. Oh, this is sound. Hold up. Let's have a listen. Okay. Um, so, details? Yeah. What's he, what he based on? He's based on attack. Oh, not special attack. This is probably the first supporter that based on, that based on attack. Alright, okay. So what would be a good uh, held item for him before we start talking about his uh, moves? I could just say example sets and yeah. just check out Save Light Masters. There you go. Uh, attack weight, eh? Oh, Fold Stone might be nice Fold because of yeah. extra movement. Yeah. So Aos Cookie. You've told me, talked to me about some of Sableye's moves, and they sound very different from what's come yeah. before. But so let's so, go let's through see them. Here. Basic attack. Yeah, basic attack. Because of boosted auto with every third, with every third attack, you increase damage and decrease movement speed. Right. If the user is in stealth, well, when we'll talk about stealth. Is this a passive skill? Yeah, it's, it's right, passive. Okay, we'll talk about that. Now. If the user is in stealth when it hits an opposing Pokemon with a boosted attack, it will deal damage and apply fear. Ooh. Opposing Pokemon affected by fear will be forced to move away from you. Physically, the game will will walk you away. Walk you away. You can't so do even, anything. You can't do anything. You're just locked into that movement. Yeah, you're locked into moving away from Sableye. Okay. When the user enters stealth, it'll be able to use the boosted attack immediately. Right. So you don't have to build up your boosted attack. You enter stealth, and you and you, immediately have you get it. the third attack you immediately. immediately. Have it. Right. Yeah. Okay. So your stealth is the your stealth is your boosted auto. Ah, oh, your boosted auto. So if you're under stealth, you can do use a boosted. How auto. do you get into stealth though? You just you just don't get hit and just like run. Ah, uh, here it is. I think here it is. Prankster. When the Pokemon with this ability is outside the visual range of Pokemon from the opposing team, it enters stealth and its movement speed increases. Right. So all you've got to do is get away from stuff. everybody <laughs> from stuff. But the visual range of Pokemon from your opposing team, so it doesn't matter if it's, um, uh, you see, you could be a jungler, for example. It doesn't matter if there's battle toys about. I'm it's, not sure about, I, I'm sure it doesn't matter with battle toys. No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter with them. Um, I forgot what we call it, Endemic Life. Yeah. It's only opposing Pokemon I think it's only from the opposing Pokemon. team. So when this Pokemon, when this Pokemon with this ability, ability enters the visual range of Pokemon from the opposing team, it does not immediately become visible, but instead remains in stealth for a short time. Right, okay. For what, how long is this short time though? Do you, do you have any I indication? I think it's around two seconds or right, three seconds right. before you get revealed. It's enough to get close to that Pokemon to slam them, whatever you're doing. Yeah, the Pokemon to... with this ability exits stealth when it attacks. Right, okay. So as soon as you press that attack button, you, you become visible. Yeah. So this is the R move, I think. Right. Thief. So Thief. Has to use their dash in a designated direction, dealing damage to any opposing Pokemon it hits, and decreasing their movement speed for a short time. If this move hits a, a Pokemon from the opposing team, this it is steals. 
It steals a small amount of Aos energy. What's a small amount? One? Five points. Five is not that small. Five points, which which is like, everyone's in comments is like rip stackers. <laughs> if uh, those Pokemon do not have Aos energy, they would be less be unable, they'd be stunned instead, yeah, yeah. unable to act for a short time. Okay, that's, so that's quite five points. very different. He's stealing points, and not just stealing them, he's gaining them himself. Yeah, you basically take five points yeah. away from the energy and add it to yourself, which is, which could be really useful for stacking as Sableye. It could be really useful for just stopping people scoring as well. Yeah, you know? so that's... someone's about scoring fifty, you can pop up, up, up. They might get a score, but they won't get the full fifty. You know what I mean? Yeah, they'll only get ninety. Yeah. but you won't be having this move the entire game yeah. because you'll swap. Uh, true, um, true. You swap into one of these. Knock off or Shadow Sneak. Now, yeah. knock off is like, a, you knock off a lot of points off them. Right, and is, it comes on level 4 as well. Level 4, so which is an early one. Yeah. I think all the supporters get their first move at and level, level four. 4. Okay, what's knock off do? Has used a move in Destiny Direction and then, and then back again while attacking around itself. Attacking around itself. Dealing damage to opposing Pokemon hit. By the by, the attacks and leave them stunned. Stunned, right? It's a stun move. For I a short time afterwards, stun move back. Hit, keep on hitting. Okay. For a short time afterward, this move can be used again. If it is, the user attacks in front of itself with its claws, doing damage and shove. Right. When it when either, either the first or second stage of this move hits. Opposed to Pokemon, ah, the Pokemon will drop, drop Aos energy. Their Aos energy. Five points per hit at three uh, hits And maximum. for a short time, they'll be unable to pick it up. So that will allow you, you some other Pokemon, you or your or your teammates, to pick yeah. it up. Maybe two seconds. Is it one second? Two seconds? When of, either anyway. stage of this move hits opposing Pokemon that do, do not, not have Aos energy, and they'll be left stunned and for, for a longer, longer duration than yeah. Thief, I think. Yeah. While using this move, the user receives reduced damage. Ooh, nice. The upgrade. upgrade, I think it's 10. Right. For a short time after this move is used, the next time the user picks up Aos Energy, oh, it recovers, and you have extra movement speed. Right, okay. Oh, that's nice. Good, and Shadow Sneak as an alternative? For a short time, increases the user's movement speed and enters stealth. So even though you're in the range, you can still enter stealth by using this move. Yeah. While the user is in stealth, its first boosted basic attack deals additional damage. But when you use your basic attack, you become revealed again, yeah? Yeah, you'll become yeah, revealed. Yeah. Uh, while this move is active, if the user exits stealth and a hindrance has not left it unable to act, it'll be enter able to enter stealth again. So, Shadow Sneak is like the ultimate sneaking move. Which is very good for sneaking behind enemy lanes and scoring, I reckon. Yeah, Sableye has a lot of scoring potential. Yeah. Probably higher than Talonflame. <laughs> cool. Because of all the stealth you can have. Yeah. So the upgrade increases the duration of this move's effects. Yeah. Okay, so you enter stealth for longer. You, you can hold the stealth for longer and uh, while this, enter it into it again for longer. Yes. Move this uh, when this while move this move is active and the user is in stealth, it will also <laughs> gradually recover HP. It's only like sixty nine per tick. Right. It's okay. Not and that I, big. I suppose it depends how long it lasts for as well. You know, if I it's think like it's around five seconds. Seven, seven seconds. Oh, well, that's pretty substantial. Right, okay, so his second move is astonished, so astonished, which you get upon reaching level six. No, no, no. Second level, level six. six. Level, oh, level six. Yeah. You changed these to a level uh, six. Ah, yeah. Sorry. Astonish is instant. Yes. Sorry, Has the user attacking a cone in front of itself? Dealing oh, I've damage. seen this one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And decreasing movement speed. Right. If this move hits opposing Pokemon from behind, it deals increase and greater movement decrease. So if you attack a Pokemon that's looking away from you, you do more damage. And you get it extra and slow. Extra slow. Well, I thought it was the opposite. It must be the Confuse Ray. That's the one. Okay, right, right. So when no, you reach... you're thinking about the Unite. Oh, right, okay. Because Unite move looks looks the same. Yeah, uh, it sounds the same as well. But it's a bigger uh, area. <laughs> okay. So reaching level six, you can choose one of these two. Faint attack Z and confused ray. Right, what's faint attack? Only one second cool because, down. Because it's three moves in reserve. Oh, okay. Okay. So has used a throw of dummy Aos energy to a designated oh, direction. That one. Yeah, right, While okay. dummy Aos energy remains at a location, the location and the area around it will be visible. So you've thrown it in the bush. Yeah. And you'll see anyone who's anyone in the bush. Anyone who's in the bush. That is cool. Dummy Aos Energy can remain at up to five locations at a time. <laughs> if an opposing Pokemon picks up these er this energy, that energy explodes, dealing damage and giving slow. So it damages over time as damage well. Damage over tick time. Da tick damage, yeah. But and I saw like over damage, damage, total damage is not that high. Yeah, but It's yeah. 100 per three ticks. 
Oh, right, okay. And it's not really that good late game. I think the only annoying one is it's slow. Yeah. And a maximum of three times. Three you can times do can be Kevin Reserve. That's so you why can it's drop one AOS, one AOS, one AOS, and in, in three It's not one places. AOS, it's multiple AOS. Oh, right, multiple, multiple, multiple. But it's a bit random of how many you put down. Right, okay. Uh, so the upgrade, if an opposing Pokemon is knocked out while taking damage over time from this move, it will drop more AS energy than it normally would. But you could use that and just put like mines down, blah, 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 and then wait until they bump, 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 bump into them, and then put it and do more again in yeah. a row. You, you could, could just... just use this as like a ranged attack. Yeah, yeah. Just by just just but like it's uh, quite weak. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's just like an ultimate. It's a very troll. What move. about Confuse Ray? Is this the one that has you? Yeah, look? this is a very annoying one. <laughs> has right. a user fire a sinister, sinister ray, ray, not just a ray, a sinister one, in a designated direction, dealing damage if it hits. Right. If this moves hit on the opposing team, it also leaves them confused. Wait, well, wait, 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 if this move hits Pokemon from the opposing team... Oh, it, right, it can't hit Pokemon from your team, it's on about endemic life there. Yeah, right, yeah. okay. It also leaves them confused. Well, confused... Well, confused Pokemon <laughs> continuously attack nearby Pokemon with basic attacks. Confused Pokemon will target nearby Pokemon in the following order of priority. First, the allies, the ally Pokemon, second, wild Pokemon, and then... Pokemon on the user's team. So you don't want to be shooting this off if there's only one Pokemon because they're going to carry on attacking your Pokemon. Your friends. Um, but if they're in a group, you, it's good to slam someone slam with this. Slam one of because, them, like a, Cinder, like a Cinderace or a yeah. Ninja. And then that they'll start, Cinderace they'll start will be them focused to auto-attack on their friends, friends, on their allies. Now, how long does that attack it's like, it's like it's like two right? to, two and a half seconds, man. Uh, two and a half seconds. Two and a half seconds. It's not okay. that long, but enough to yeah. It's it's a bit annoying because you, it's, you. it's a bit annoying because you can disable them for two seconds for the entire team fight. Yes, which is really valuable. Yeah, and, so, and you can do it to one. Wait seven seconds. A bang. Do it to something. Yeah, so quite a slow cool but down there. But you have to hit it. Yeah. It's it's like moon blast. If you yeah. don't hit it, there's nothing and nothing else. Right. Okay. And the upgrade also increases movements. Oh, the movement speed and basic attack speed of the Pokemon from the opposing team. While this move has left them confused. Ah, right, so okay. extra so, attack speed and movement. So yeah, they, they instead of getting maybe two hits off of Cinderace, you get three, three, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. 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 And that's only when it confused, so they yeah. won't use the buff to their advantage to kill you faster. Yeah. Now, Chaos Glory. They, they will, if there's no ally and no endemic life around, yeah. they'll be using the yeah. buff to kill your po friendly Pokemon. But, but they can't use moves, I think. They can't use uh, moves. No, it's just the autos. It's just auto. Right, Unite move, Chaos Glower. Glower. Has to use a shoot light from both this of its eyes, it, yes. dealing damage to opponent's Pokemon and area effect in front of itself. Pokemon from the opposing team hit by this move, who are facing the user, freeze in place and start <laughs> involuntarily preparing to return to base. Is that a down on the D-pad? Down on the D-pad. Or is it a walking back to base? Down on the D-pad, back to right. base. And, okay. and instead of having like a blue aura around you, you have a purple aura. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if they take damage before returning to base, they remain where they are and then you're left unable to act. Yeah. So, so watch out for like endemic life because that, that, is, that can interrupt it as well. But that is so difficult too. You're in the middle of a team fight. You slap this down on one of the Pokemon, and it's so difficult to, for one of your teammates to recognize that I can't hit this Pokemon. Oh, so very difficult, huh? And you might just automatically and sometimes auto attack and just like you auto attack. I suppose them. the the really good place I can think about this is if someone's just about to score in your goal zone and you slap them with this, um, they'll, will it hinder them from scoring and then send them back to their base? Um, it won't work with Rayquaza Shield because they have Unstoppable above their head. Anyone with hindrance ah. resistance, Unstoppable or Invincible, you can't hit them. Okay. Well, for those that have hindrance resistance and unstoppable above the head, you can still hit them, but they won't return back to base, even though they're facing in front of you. Yeah. So it has to be a Pokemon where they don't they have don't that have the unstoppable Rayquaza above their head. And unstoppable. Yeah. Opposing but Pokemon. you can still like hit them yeah. with, before they score, and then bye bye. Yeah. But they will still have the shield, so. <laughs> Opposing Pokemon hit by this move. Who are not, not facing, facing them will have movement, movement speed decreased. Yeah, they won't go try and go back yeah, to base. Damage is same, so that would be really annoying to be sent back to your base. <laughs> yeah, but it's a little um, bit like Hooper. Hooper. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit. If they have a Hooper, then that unite is useless because they can port back. 
Right then, onto the practice arena. Yes. Oh, sorry, practice area. It's not practice the arena. Area. No, because that doesn't Arena out. is a monster hunter. And there's been a monster hunter update as well. Yes, a lot of stuff. Oh, it's coming on the 24th. 24th. But they've, so um, they've made reject. us aware of stuff in Monster Hunter. So if you want to go and catch that out, make oh, sure so you're watching our Pokemon, new, uh, Pokemon, a Monster Hunter streams yes. as well. So this is the skin. It looks like a magician. It's like, it's like, an Aegis, it's like the Aegis last skin. Yeah. Mm. It's not noble, it's a magician. Right then, you're against your regular practice partner here, Snorlax, into the uh, remote stadium area, isn't it? Oh, is it no, it's the Sky Ruins. Oh, it's the Sky, Sky Ruins, Ruins. now. Okay. Maybe we can spot where these battle toys have changed position as well. I don't know that time. because I don't know where they were previously placed. <laughs> so, oh, I'm already in stealth. So right. That was astonish. So now I already have a boosted auto. Right, let's try this auto. Oh, you have a boosted auto because you've gone into stealth. Yeah. So shoot that so boosted auto and see what happens. Boom. All right. It's that oh, slash he's, he was attack. facing away from me. Ah. He was running away from me. So if I run a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, under stealth again. Oh, you do that. You do that jump automatically. Yes. Yeah. Right. Look at him when you hit it. What happens? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't happen ah, because right of the. Yeah, you can't move anymore. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, that Baldur is in the same place. Yeah, but there are some <laughs> locations probably in lane. Oh. See that bird? It looks like the bird from that woman. <laughs> on the shot. Right, so. No. Why is a substitute doll recognized as a building Pokemon? Ah, because. Like. Ah, if they're in that wait, range, wait, we can test now. How long does the stealth last for? One, two, two, two and two a half minutes. seconds. But two and a half seconds. Oh, I, I immediately entered back in if I if you get out of range. If you get out of range, so let it attack me. It's, it's and then between I'm out. two and three seconds. Uh, so yeah. the battle toy will face away from me. Yeah. yeah, he was facing away from me. Yeah, yeah. So right, that's his stealth. That's gonna be an interesting. And then this is a boosted auto, and then basic attack. Yeah, and then third one is boosted auto anyway. Yeah, oh, this does a good. crit as well. This he's pretty pistol. good, yeah. So let's go up top because yeah. Snorlax is up there. I need the points. Right on. Um, so he has six points currently. Yeah. Um, now I th come here. Now I thief. I stole five points from him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't even see it. Yeah. So, let me get the bird first. Yeah. And I thief. I stole five points from him. Yeah. Oh, just as easy as that. That is annoying. Yeah, just like that. But you need to hit the dash. Oh, my God. Early lane. Early laning with him. Could be very, very handy. Yeah. The, the team that's trying to, you know, you know, like do stack weight stack. Oh, yeah, the, the like citrus that, berries you know? are positions further away. Ah, They're like they here are. They are at the here. top and bottom of the lane now, yeah. yes, rather than in the middle. Yes, yeah, they are. So, Definitely. Astonish is like a nice area. Yeah. Boom, and a slow. If they're facing away from me, it's a greater slow. Ah, yeah. Nice. So, we'll try to knock off. Knock off knocks points away. There they are. They got dropped. You can pick them up though yourself, yeah? yes. And yeah. they can't pick them up. And where was five points as well? Yeah. Um, is does the knockoff do random amount of points, or is it always? It's five? always five. And you and when you go forward, you'll always come back. Yeah. Well, one, two, uh, yeah. and then this third move just shove. Yeah. So that is knockoff, yeah. Yeah, that is knockoff. So it let does me get the three points. moves. Let me get the points well, first. It does one move, which is back and forth, and then the second time you do it, I is... want them to get the points. <laughs> Pick those points up that I right, dropped. Let's go with no yeah, let him get the points. So let him get like fifteen points, so he can, uh, so I can actually give him. Some... Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. So uh, let's get the Reggie Lucky first. Oh, Snorlax is dead. Oh no, he's lagging it. Okay. I. He's not bad at. Um... Securing Danny. Because I have, no cool, I have no cool. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's why. So. Oh, by the way, one of like, the crucial detail about Sableye. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna get Faint Attack first. Right, okay. Is that you can score a ball in stealth? But as soon as you start scoring, you exit stealth. I doubt it. Wait, 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 hold on. Let's see. Wait, wait, let's see, let's see. Score that. Right, because go, it's, go it's, it's, because as an instant score, I need like more points. Ah, so right, let's okay. get more points from these. Yeah, this, this is a good. These are questions that need to be answered. Um, because I, I swear I saw Sableye like what, stay in stealth while you're scoring. Wow, 
Maybe there is a two and a half second. I right, so we'll just swim. This, this is too slow, man. The Sibylite doesn't have a lot of fence. All right, okay. Even with faint attack. Oh, no, you lose. What's faint attack? Ah, uh, just use throw a fake chaos energy. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, that one, okay. Oh, but you can see it with that purple aura around it. The opposing... Only you can see that purple aura. What about your teammates? Your teammates can see that as well, but they won't, they won't even pick it up. They can't pick it up. They walk yeah. through it, yes. Yeah. But the opposing Pokemon, they, can, they, they see will see it, it like, like, AM, that, like that. Like a normal uh, Aeos So, let's drop. under cells. Right. Alright, score. They just... Oh, you no, see, lose it. You do. Okay. You instantly, just like using a basic auto... You and instantly lose stealth upon scoring. Because but in public test servers, you can score while in stealth. In public test servers, so they probably changed that. They must have changed it. I, I thought it was crazy that you could score in stealth myself. Um, it's, it's, it's very good that you don't. But, the, the, just to appear, and all of a sudden, oh my god, he's here. You, you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he, but, if I, enter, time to react if I enter anyway. stealth, yeah. and if, if Solax enters the range, yeah. he, can have that, he has a symbol. Above his head, so, so he knows he, he doesn't know where I am, but he knows I'm nearby. He knows you're close. Yeah, yeah. He so, can sense you. So enter stealth. He has that symbol above yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He knows that Sableye is roughly yeah. there. And, and surprisingly, how did you do your movement speed up then? Uh, I picked up a berry. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> right. So you see a substitute doll right here. Yeah. Substitute dolls like act like opposing a Pokemon. Yeah. So you see that? That's a symbol. Yeah. And that will appear above your head yeah. if you're, and if you're I have facing an against Sableye. I have an exclamation mark above my head to Means see if like, there's someone in my range. Yeah, someone can see you. Someone can sense you, not see you. But I think I realized that if they're in the bush, yeah. you won't have the exclamation mark. Ah, because you can't see them. You can't but see will them. they get the... I reckon even if they're in the bush, they will they get They can see the, the symbol. Yeah, they'll see the symbol. You won't get the exclamation mark. And you can throw things. But I just want to say there's one way to see in the bush, and it's by doing what Morgan's doing yeah. now. Do throw else energy into, into the bush, a bush because they can detect them and it will yeah they don't have to touch them they just need to be there and you can see them you can see the bush. Open. can your entire team see what's in the bush yes awesome it's for a nice reconnaissance yeah it is very good no bush hiding no bush uh, what's a death bushing no more like death bushing shenanigans yeah. right then is that the two moves are you happy with showing yeah. those off do you want to go on to the next yeah, two yeah i'll go on to the next two lovely all right, so next two is the Shadow Sneak with the Confuse Ray. Yeah. Um, the Chris Heroes did like a hundred thousand damage the same way. Uh, which which moves do you think would be the meta for Sableye? I think there's no meta move, but I think Shadow Sneak would be better than Knock Off, unless unless you want to prevent scoring. Yeah. Yeah, it depends how. It, it depends on the situation. Depends on the it does. Like, I, I think it there's really no better moves unless they buff one of them. Yeah, and and the the, the thing is, is like you could choose the wrong thing because the game can can change at the, at the drop yeah. of a hat, you know. So, so like you're thinking, oh, I I thought this would be a good move, but, but in this it, game, I, I, it I, I, isn't. I it'll still work. Yeah. Okay. Right then, on to what was it? Shadow Sneak and. Shadow Sneak and the Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray, that's the one. And we're going to demonstrate Unite. Yes, please. For some reason, Unite's, the Unite move works on substitute goals as well in the practice arena. Just send them back home? Yes, yeah, send them back to the enemy base. <laughs> I can't wait to so see that. Let's get, get some levels up, man. Oh, it's, it's, you get a level 8, not a level 9. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Confuse Ray, Unite. So. You get United level eight. Yes. Okay. So do this, and it shows the immediately back under stealth. Right. And you can see that bar above me. That's how far. That's how long you can be in stealth. Oh, you. Oh, it's that's a lot of again. damage. Have a look again. So oh, that's a lot of damage. Can fuse ray. No, the boosted auto fall by the shadow sneak. Right. What happens when you try and sc ah? Right. You lose the shadow sneak as soon as you go into an a bit boosted an auto. Wait, yeah? is this shadow sneak that can actually let me score invisibly? That's what I'm on about. Maybe. No, nah, no, nah, it's all it. confused. But so the when, when you auto is still there. Yeah. When you attack and do a boosted auto, you lose the shadow sneak. Yeah. Yeah. Are oh, you sorry? You you, you, you lose come the out of the stealth. Yeah. yeah. So not the shadow sneak. You come out of the stealth. He didn't even know so what I was coming. So I get stealth. Yeah. He didn't know yeah. what was coming. This is probably better than... No, no, not better. Just like... It's it's like Smokescreen Ninja. 
Right, and try... But he keep the stealth for much longer. Try this Confuse Ray on um, Snorlax. Snorlax, yeah. I'm interested to see that. There's no opposing Pokemon. Yeah, he's got to be looking at you, hasn't he? No, he doesn't, he doesn't. Oh, doesn't he? He's just do that, and he's confused, and he starts auto-attacking. Auto-attacking, but because there's no opposing there's Pokemon, no opposing Pokemon he, he will start auto-attacking the endemic life. Yeah. Which only lasted for about one attack, then. Yeah, because that's how low his attack speed is. For, but, for ah, high, but for people with higher attack There's no attack endemic speed, life, he started trying to attack you. Yeah. So, let's be invincible. Yeah. Yeah, there's a battle toy there, yeah, so he start, yeah, he'll start gonna, attacking. Yeah. But he didn't so. even make it to the Baltoid before he started attacking. Yeah. But at least it... Yeah, he didn't even It move. stops him attacking, you know? Yeah. So... So, let's turn him off. And so, if I hit the Unite from backwards... Yeah. It's a damage and slow. Right. But, from, the, from the front... front. Bye-bye. <laughs> right. I didn't see the bar. You don't see the bar in opposing Pokemon, do you? don't Pokemon, see the bar, do you? You see okay. bar, but you see the aura. Yeah. But if I, atta but if anything attacks them while they're while they're trying to go back to base, they'll get interrupted and get stunned. I want to see this on an endemic. Uh, on this. Uh... All right, bye bye. Go return to base battle. Hey, you gone? He there is in go. base. <laughs> so now let's go back to the training doll at my base. Right. What are you gonna do with that? So. Even the substitute wall walks away from me. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I do the Unite, so he's trying to go back to base, but if I interrupt it, interrupt it, it'll get stunned. It'll stand and stop going back to base, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so difficult then not to hit them again. Do you find that? Because you just want to slam them. Yeah. You've got to slam them and then walk away. So yeah. I think, like this, walk You hit them and then walk away, walk away. away with the boosted auto, maybe that'll do a lot of damage. The boosted order's not too bad, actually. Yeah, but it has a shout sneak buff. Like, that, yeah. that boosted order didn't do much, but with a shout sneak buff, it's almost a one shot. Ooh, look at that, I know, it's huge. So, boosted order. So, so, you've got to use the shadow sneak combined with the boosted auto, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Not combined, it doesn't have to be combined. You can do the boosted auto first. Ah. To do this boosted auto first, and re enter stealth, and yeah, then boost it again. do it again. Oh, they get double fear as well, so you can scare them twice. Right, okay. So let's check damage. So if I end, so if this is a regular boosted auto, round eight hundred at yeah. this at this level. Snow seek boosted auto. Okay. <laughs> oh, two oh, thousand. Two thousand. Okay. But nice. the substitute doll has no defense, so yeah. Yeah. the values can be way lower than that. But it's still a nice, it's still a nice. So attack. the confused ray doesn't really do anything on endemic life. Because they will like it's target and send... nearby targets. Ah, oh, right, okay. True. But they. I just want to say. Uh, will, the range... they, will, will they attack opposing Pokemon? No. Um, no, they won't. They no, won't. they won't. Okay. They'll, well, they'll attack opposing Pokemon like any at any anyway, given time. Yeah, but so... I mean, if it's attacking you and you confuse it, it'll start attacking the opposing Pokemon. Nah, it won't. It won't, okay. So, and this is probably the range of like a Shadow Ball Gengar. Yeah. Like, that's the range. After it's been. And nerfed. if you don't hit it. That's a lot. That's confused, right? It waits seven seconds. Seven seconds, yeah. It's a bit, it is slow, isn't it? Yeah, and you can't send Endemic Life back to base. Yeah. <laughs> they got and no base like to go to. Yeah. It's quite tough, though. Half health on a, on a level five. Um, it's, a, it's only life. a 1,000 area damage. Oh, okay. So, anything else to see? Nothing. That is Sableye, then. Come out. Come out, wherever you are. We are going to shadow sneak onto yes. some more Pokemon Unite videos in the coming days. Thanks for watching this one. Uh, first look at Sableye and some of the nerfs and buffs that have been dropped with Sableye's update. It's me, old Nintendo Gamer. Keep it pinned to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, our private Discord server, and you can support us via coffee. All the relevant links are in the description below and in the banner above.